Equation of line given two points. Question 11. Find equation of line through the point P 3 comma minus 2 and Q 3 comma 4. This is a very interesting question to end this series of finding equation of line with two points. And in this series, we used y equals to mx plus b equation to find the equation of line. So we used the slope intercept form, which was y equals to mx plus b, right? So that's the equation which helped us to get all our answers till now, first 10 questions. Now question 11 is unique and it is on purpose to highlight one significant thing. Let's first try to see what we are into. So let's, as usual, draw our coordinate plane. There we are. Now here, let's locate our points. Point P is 3 minus 2. That means we'll go 3 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, and 2 units down, 1, 2. So there we are. This is point P for us. Point Q is 3 units to the right and 4 units up. So 1, 2, 3, but 4 units up. So we say 1, 2, 3, and 4. And that's the point Q for us. So let's write down our points. So here we are with P, which is 3 minus 2, and Q, which is 3, comma 4. So... If we join them, we get a vertical line, correct? So they are like perfectly vertical, right? 3 and 3 is matching. So x value is 3, right? y value changes from minus 2 to 4. So when you draw it, it becomes a vertical line, something like this, correct? Now that's our line which goes through point P and Q. And we need to find equation of this line. Now if I use this form of the equation which says y equals to mx plus b, I need to find slope and the y-intercept. Well, since this line is parallel to y-axis, see, that is x-axis and this is y-axis. First thing you notice is that this line is parallel. So let me draw our two arrows to indicate that this is parallel to y-axis. So since this line is parallel to y-axis, we really don't have any y-intercept, right? So we, we should not even write zero there. Zero means a value, right? Zero means origin. Oh, correct. That is zero, correct? So in this case, never write zero for your y-intercept. I've seen that mistake in many test papers and therefore I'm telling you, B is not there. Not does not mean zero, okay? So, there is no y-intercept for this line. Second, let's try to find what is slope. Slope, as we know, is rise over run. So, we'll write slope as rise over run. So, we say M equals to rise over run. Now, let's calculate rise and run as we move from point P to Q. So rise is from point P to Q, right? So we were two units down, these are the Y values, and we went four units up, right? So the rise for us is two plus four, which is six, perfect. So, we get rise as plus 6. And now, what is run? So, when you move horizontally, well, it's from 3 to 3. So, you don't have any run. Basically, it's on the same point. It is 3 minus 3, which is 0. So, that's what you get as a run. But, you know, you cannot divide by 0. That is meaningless. That term is really undefined correct? So anything divided by zero, you can't, right? So this is undefined. So 
So we landed into a situation where our slope was undefined. Now if the slope is undefined, we cannot use this equation. So in this particular case or in this scenario, this equation fails to represent our line. So we need to adopt to something else and find a different way of writing an equation for our line. So you see the restrictions of y equals to mx plus b. That is it. Any vertical line. So this is our vertical line, correct? So vertical line, you learned here, has undefined slope. Has undefined slope. right and therefore we cannot use slope intercept form of the equation so how to write equation of such a line that's a big thing so the way we write equation of this line is by our observation so what do we notice we notice that every point on this line has one thing in common and what is that that is the x value do you see that x value here it is 3 and 3 correct even if I take any other point on the line x value is going to be 3 always and therefore we say that for such a line the equation is x equals to 3 so that is the equation of a line which is vertical line correct so I'll write here equation of my line is x equals to 3 perfect it works because at any point, we see that x value is 3. Do you see that? It is 3. If I take this point, even this. So this line has an x-intercept, and the value of x-intercept will be 3, 0. So this point, the x-intercept will be 3, 0, right? Y value changes. So y value changes like 1, 2, 3, 4, or minus 1, 2, 3, 4, any real number. But x value remains same. And therefore, we write equation of such a line as x equals to 3. So, for this question, the right part is what we need. And we don't really have to work towards finding slope and intercept, right? So, therefore, we now realize that vertical lines are special, right? So, it's a vertical line. So, let's summarize. Vertical lines are special in many ways. So what happens here in a vertical line? You'll find slope is undefined. So it has undefined slope. Correct. And what else do we notice? Let's write down a few things which we have learned, right? It is parallel to y-axis, correct? And therefore, since it is parallel to y-axis, we don't have any B intercept. So there is no Y intercept. I say B intercept many times, but it's no Y intercept. That means B value is not known. It is not zero, remember. It is not known. It is not there at all, right? And third, we can write that its X intercept is always intercept is always in this particular case the x value is x value right x value or x coordinate I should write x coordinate okay x coordinate and finally the equation of such a line should be there's a short form of equation for me equation of such a line is x equals to whatever value of x. In this case, 3, right? And in this case, x intercept is 3, 0. So everywhere you will find that x value is constant and that is the reason that we write this equation as x equals to 3. It's a vertical line with undefined slope, correct? I hope you get it. Now after this, we will have a worksheet and then a small test. In the worksheet, I'll just write on the top saying find equation of following lines going through two given points. And I'll, I'll give you a set of points. 
then you work out and find equation for different sets of points. So that'll be a good practice and then we will have few questions to test your learning, okay? And to gain confidence. So th with this, thanks for being with me and understanding how to find equation of line given two points. And also remember, we started with writing equation in the form y equals to mx plus b, which is slope intercept form. It has its own limitations. When it comes to vertical lines, we can't really write equation in that form. In that case, the equation will be x value. x equals to the value of x, which is common to all points on the line. Thank you. All the best.